Yes, today we're doing Delta Math Composition of Functions. This year we, review, we can review what Composition of Functions is. Composition of Functions is when, when we write one function in another. So one function goes inside one another. Okay. Um, this is an example from compositions of composition of functions from delta math. So let's go ahead and look at this problem. It gives us f of x equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 12. And g of x is 4x plus 14. And it's asking us to find g composed of f negative 1. Um, if we can review that this notation is actually the same notation as the same notation as g with the function f evaluated at negative 1 inside. Okay? So my suggestion to this is first find value of the inside. Find the value of what's inside. Um, I suggest guys that you take notes when you watch these videos. Learn how to be a good note taker. It's always helpful. So learn what's inside. Here we go. Find the value of what is inside. So in this case, what is inside? F of negative 1 is inside of g of x. So I'm going to find f of negative 1. And that's easy. Everybody in here, everybody here has done this at one point in their life. That means that for my function f of x, which is right here, I'm going to find what negative 1 is. So let me type that in. So I'm going to have 3, put parentheses around that negative 1 because those negatives are tricky. 3, negative 1 squared minus 6x, six, six x, but instead of x, I'm replacing negative 1 plus 12. All right. So let's evaluate this. Um, order of operations tells me to do exponents first, so I'm going to do negative 1 squared first. So it's going to be 3 times 1. I'm going to go ahead and do this multiplication. A negative 6 times a negative 1 is going to give me a positive 6 plus 12. So here we got 3 times 1 is just 3 plus 6 plus 12. So that's going to give me 9 plus 12. That equals 21. So f of negative 1 equals 21. That is what is going to go inside of here. We're going to replace that in there. So now we're going to have g, not of f of negative 1, but g of 21. And now we're going to plug that into our g of x function. So that's going to be g of 21 equals 4 times 21 plus 14. All right, so let's do that math real quick. 21 times 4, that's 4, 8. So it's going to be 84 plus 14. So that's going to give me 98. So our final answer here is 98. So let's go ahead and plug that into delta math. I forgot already what it said. 98. And there we go. There's my answer. Alright, thank you guys for listening.